How's it going, boys? Johnny Superb, man, here. Man, it's time for another NHL 17 shootout commentary. And this time, I'm using the Dallas Stars because I want to talk about Cody Eakin, the goalie-killing ginger, suspended for four games for his hit on Henrik Lundqvist. Now, get the hell out of here. Ha-ha. <laughs> My God. That hit was ridiculous, man. Like a locomotive just running through his opponent. I don't know what the hell he was thinking. So, we'll talk about that after the shootout. For right now, Jamie Ben, let's see if we can do the win hole, boys. Here we go. Coming up on Freddy. Here we go. Inside. Round side, baby. Tucks it home. Number 14, Jamie Ben gets her done for Dallas. I didn't have to go through the legs that time. Just beat him. Around the pads. William Nylander, the super sweet, coming in. Dangling. Outside. Inside. Flying fucking hell. What a miss that was. I just stayed in the same stupid spot. Who is that? Niemi or is it? Uh, yeah, Niemi. Man. That poke check looked god awful. All right, we can come back from that. Jason Spezza, his coach has always told him to shoot more. Jason, shoot the puck. Ah, oh, God damn it. A blocker saved by Frederick Henderson. Harold Bluetooth. I really thought that was open, actually. He was back on his goal line. There was even some, some space to shoot it there. A reactionary save. Nazem Kadri, the dream, coming down. Doing some dangles. Staying on that far side. And ends up shooting it short side. My God, man. Was I not there? Niemi, he got me enough off the post. You know what? I was a little bit late getting back to that post. Come on. We can't let this one get away from us. Tyler Sagan coming in. Let's do the uh, the reach around, boys. The reach around. Oh, he's not doing no poke checks. No aggressive goaltender right there. He's staying back on his goal line, which gives me all the time and space that I need to pull up the dangles. All right. Be aggressive. Be aggressive. Get out there. Show him that you're not messing around. Then back off. Be aggressive. Back off. Get the hell out of here. James Van Riemsdyk coming down too slow, my man. And I think, you know, he's gotten close to me now the last two shots. The flying poke check next time will work. Count on it. Here we go. Antoine Roussel coming in. How about a nice little toe driggy? Oh, what the f Can't even do a toe drag. In the NHL, can't even do a toe drag. And then the EA Sports camera angle looks great, doesn't it? Oh, anti Niemi flying poke check. It's going to work this time. Tyler Ballsack. Tyler Ballsack. Flying poke check, baby. Yeah. Ends up working out. I think he shot it into my pads. Yeah, it wasn't the paddle that got her done. Still, Patrick Sharp. Ah, uh, what do I want to do? What do I want to do? I got to score. What do I, uh, fake slap shot. Fake, oh, backhand, forehand, baby. There it is, Patrick Sharp. Got it done in Chicago, getting it done in Dallas, and we actually win the shootout. I thought they had another shot still. So, boys, the Dallas Stars take the shootout, but the reason I wanted to do it with the Stars this time was because Cody freaking Eakin. Now, what do you guys think about that hit, man? I mean, there's a lot of different opinions. I've even, I've even seen some people say, oh, that's that's good hockey, man. Goaltenders shouldn't be behind the net. And to that, I say, what the hell are you talking about? The goaltender should just be fair game, you're saying, when they're not in the crease? I, I don't I don't know if that's going to work. It's all well and good and funny until it happens to your goaltender and your goalie, like Carey Price, is then out for like a year or something. That sucks, man. Every team needs their goalie, right? So the way I see it, first off, Rick Nash... Jimmy VC and that other guy, uh, uh, I don't even know how to pronounce his last name. They're all pansies. You see your goaltender get hit like that, you gotta step up, you gotta react. They not only didn't, you know, do the, uh, the pansy reaction where you just go over there and grab the guy and just tug on his jersey a few times, they actually continued the play. They began the breakout with Henrik Lundqvist lying down face first on the ice, his helmet is off, and they're skating up the ice looking for offense. I know you're scoring goals this year, uh, year New York, but come on. You're goaltender needs help so rick nash and jimmy vc not leaders man garbage right there um but for the hit itself you know i uh, it looked horrible but i don't think he meant to do it i think he was just in the moment and he just had a gaff a goof up and he just ran through the goalie i mean does cody he can have a history of playing dirty like that he's playing over there in the western conference so i don't get to see him too much but this is the first time i've heard of his name in a suspension way right so I don't know, boys. I think we have to reassess the rules when it comes to goaltender and, and contact on the goalie. And that's the question I want to put to you guys. Should contact with the goalie outside of the crease be allowed in some form or completely forbidden? The way I see it, you know, if Lund we'll use the Henrik Lundqvist uh, example. If he's behind the net like that and I'm Cody Eakin... You know, he shouldn't be able to just run through him, but he should be able to, you know, stop right beside him and get physical trying to get the puck out of there. You know, going shoulder to shoulder, uh, getting his stick in his skates, trying to get that puck out of there, trying to fish it out. Uh, that's fine. So I I don't want to have this 
this rule, this mindset in the NHL where you can't even breathe on the opponent's goaltender because that's not hockey to me. The goalie leaves the crease, man. He shouldn't be getting run over, but he should be fair game when it comes to uh, uh, trying to steal the puck off of him, you know? He, getting gritty in the corners. I'm fine with that. Behind the net, I'm fine with that, but there's a lot of people out there who suggest that goaltenders shouldn't be touched at all. And if that's the case, then man, they should be staying in their crease because that's bullshit if they're allowed to leave their crease and be untouched. So boys, it's a, it's a sticky situation it's a tricky question what do you guys think should happen with the goaltender uh 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 uh, goaltender rules when leaving the crease. I want to know. And Cody Eakin suspension for four games. Do you guys think it was right? It was wrong? Should there have been more or less? Let me know, boys, and I will see you in the next one. Be sure to check out our website, 2bcsports.com, where the hockey talk continues. Find myself and others in the live interactive chat or dive into the active forums to talk about sports and gaming. You can also find us on Twitch where the live streams come to life. Rock